Welcome back to our kitchen makeover. This is how we installed our beadwork. We used five four by eight panels for this project. Totaled about 120 bucks from Home Depot. Covered the back of each piece with liquid nails adhesive and then drove metal nails with our brad nailer into the studs. Make sure it was super secure on there. At this point, I'm doing trust falls with the process. You know what I mean? Those seams were so visible. The beadboard was so dingy. But we kept pushing through. The great thing about working with this paneling is it's so easy to cut with like a jigsaw. I could make minor adjustments as we went. I learned how to caulk seams and this was my first time doing it and I did a very good job. Using a baby wipe really helped. Next, we got rid of our kitchen island. I'm so excited to see this thing go and was stoked that there was flooring underneath. You want to use an interior enamel paint. Doing something like a beadboard backsplash dries really hard and it's easy to clean. Here I'm using White Dove by Benjamin Moore. I fully endorse this paint color. I think it's gorgeous. It's so creamy, but not yellow, but like homey and warm and pretty. When painting beadboard, you do need to go back through and do the cracks, but this was also very satisfying. Paneling is up, seams are caulked, trim is on. Finally, a vibe is starting to emerge in here. I'm so excited to get color on these cabinets and some floating shelves hung. 